Okay, Jennifer, here we go. Here's your giant thorium with the four towers in the center. Show you how to take it with no damage. Or minimal if you get any. Sometimes you do get winged. Air is coming in from right here. So I'm going to start my target right over in here. Basically nowhere. Then my first target is going to be running around taking out these outsides where this flat turret is. I already had a little damage from Diane's base. That's why I lost there. But now I'm going to do a little wide skirt and get the flak out of the end there. Hit this flak turret. And then after you hit that flak turret, as soon as you come around a little ways, you can target that flak turret. And then come just past the other turret there. Flak turret. Back around again. I want to make sure I get the flak guns out. And it's gone. Flak turret. From that flak turret, let it come around the loop. That flak turret. Then just pass the other one, like I said. Flak turret. Now you can go right over here to the machine gun turret. Machine gun turret. Machine gun turret. Flak turret. Flak turret. Just pass the machine gun turret. Flak turret. Once that comes around, machine gun turret. Machine gun turret. I'll stop saying just that. <laughs> I might not share this with everybody else. I'm laughing too much. It's really just going around and it, even when those turrets start falling apart, you just use the ashes of where they were as your target points. We just never try and take too much. So the whole th the real trick is to not try and get everything done at once. You get a couple pop shots off and just keep going around. Once I get these two outside flat turrets I can tighten my circle a little bit. Hasn't happened yet but sometimes I do you know I'll get a little bit off and I'll catch one stray round from the stingers but that only costs seven minutes of repair time if you get if you get hit. This is how I do bases too, really. I just nip away at stuff. That's why a lot of times it'll take me two attacks because I like to keep using my Spectre over and User over again. Your channel. User disconnected from your channel. But a lot of it has to do with the loop around too. You want to try and f use a fluid motion with your Spectre. Let it just keep continuing in the direction it wants to go in. These I can usually knock them off in one attack. Sometimes on D2 I will get just a little thread of life left on the towers and I'll have to come back and finish them off. This should just about finish this turret off. But like I say, it's, a lot of it has to do with not getting greedy, trying to get everything at once. And now I'm just going to come out here. As long as you keep your little, your little box outside of the edge of the turrets, or outside the edge of the towers, excuse me, then you won't get hit. And now I'm just going around. It's not quite the exact same pattern, but I'm just going around because I can tighten it up without those uh, flat turrets being in the way. It just takes a lot of retargeting. Let's skip out a bit there. I think I might have just about been get off. I didn't take any hits, but sometimes I can tell when I'm about to get a little screwy. I'm targeting a machine gun turret, machine gun turret, that turret, machine gun turret just a little bit outside of it, flag turret, same spot I was using before, even though the turret's not there, I'm still using the same marker. Machine gun, machine gun, and even after those machine guns are gone, like I said, I'm still going to use that little pile where they used to be at as my target zone. Keep everything on the edge just keep putting the edge of your thing over because you get that splash damage that's the thing that really does all your work for you with the spectre it's a splash not the direct hits if you try and direct hit you'll take hits all the time you 
can see I got two minutes left so this should be a one attacker I'm just going around making sure everything's on the edge and I'm not actually I don't want to actually put the towers in the box like right there I might even got too close no, I'm alright and a lot of retarget I'm sure you won't get it exactly the first time like I'm doing it here, but this is how you do it if you practice it a couple times. At least it should help you to minimize your damage until you get it better. I mean if that's the one if this is the one you're taking the most damage from, it shouldn't be, so hopefully this helps you figure out what you were doing wrong at that time. Just never get greedy. You see, I'm just retargeting. I'm getting three or four shots off. Then I'm stopping. I'm going to my next target. You let that thing loop around too much, and that's when you end up in problems. Only time I do that is when there's a shortage of thorium, and I need a bunch, and I'll run in there. And, oh, there, I just took a hit. And I'll, I need a bunch, and then I'll be a little less cautious and just get less depots per spectry but I can usually get as many depots as I want out of my spectry without ever killing it. So even when those things are down to their last thread, if it doesn't go, just wait till the next lap around before you take it. You get to the last one, you can just keep skirting it. Ah, shit, it's gonna take one more attack. How embarrassing. To go back in for a thread. And this one here, I know about where I'm coming in at, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it off.